Um, I think it was frustrating. Perhaps uh, we came up with uh, too many errors, too many soft errors and unforced ones. And we know at this level, you know, Super League level, you, you need to have um, plenty of ball and complete sets, and we didn't do en enough of that tonight. Fantastic start, wasn't it? You scored after less than two minutes. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a great start. And then the, the French came back into it, and then I thought we'd come back into it at the end of the first half. The second half, we just just too many un unforced errors again. But that's something you can work on. That you know, the attitude was there. That that's one of the important things. How much has that uh, the late two tries changed your view? I mean, had it finished 36-6 yeah. or whatever yeah. it was, 32-6, yeah. would you be much happier than you are at 32-18 or was it? Uh, no, I think at 32 six, I think we even had a couple of opportunities to to even go on. I think Gareth Woodard's made a uh, you know a clean break through the middle, and you know that's the game of rugby league. You know, it's very disappointing to concede a couple of late tries, but uh, you know, um, you know sometimes that, that probably keeps you on your toes more than anything else. And, and we certainly the players are, have got fantastic confidence and, and belief in terms of what they're doing. And uh, you know, we, we we get back to England, we give the weekend off, and we uh, back to work on Monday. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it's good to get men and rest, but I don't think I deserved it. Um, you know, we shot ourselves there in the foot there. Um, could have got some more points flowing there, but we killed ourselves. Was it in any way a sort of stressful night for you making it to move? Or was it any more nervous than you would have been? Nah, it's a, it's a small um, it's stressful out there because we know what we're capable of, and we just didn't um, get to you know get to what we're capable of. We just pretty much blew it every time we got some momentum. So. Yeah, but we'll, you know the good thing is we got to work. We get to work on it. It's our first time with game situation, so um, just see what see what coach says. You didn't have to uh, sing the national anthem for the first time because they forgot the tape or something, didn't they? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, they I was going to sing it loud and proud. But uh, uh, hopefully next week. What was the footy like compared to what you used to at home? Yeah, up tempo sort of pace. You know, one referee, big ten meters, and uh, you know it was a it was a quick, pretty quick game. And credit to the French, you know they play pretty well. So uh, we've got a bit of work to do through the week, but that's what a friendly's about. Your first look at um, some of your teammates in action. Who impresses you? Oh, all of them, mate. All the whole forward pack's been great. Even that training. You know, um, they're world-class players. You know, the, the whole 24-man squad, and you know, it's just great to be a part of it. And what are your impressions of the new players and how they gelled with the rest? Of the yeah, they played well. I, you know, I was impressed by all three of them. You know, they, they, they're all they're all great players, and I, I thought Gaz Widdup played great when he came on as well. There's a, the, the, the coach is going to have some headaches selection-wise, isn't he? It'll yeah, that yeah, that's good. Um, I, I think that's really pleasing about this squad that there's actually some strength in depth. You know, you go back three or four years, and when you put on your bench players, they suffer. But I think we've got the strength throughout the 24 months squad at the moment. And uh, was the combination between Rangi and Kirk Yeeman, that was dangerous? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Rangi's a dangerous player and so is Kirk. Um, you know, get the ball in the hands a little bit more, I think it'll be a little bit better for it. But again, that comes down to finishing our sets. You didn't build enough pressure. And that combination with Kirk Yeeman, that looks promising for you, doesn't it? Yeah, we just need to build on it, and you know, it's um, something we can build on over the t over the tournament. So hopefully, uh, we we'll just keep improving. What about the other new fellas, uh, Jack and then Chris? How do you reckon they went? Yeah, good. You know, Every, everyone went okay, but we got to points where we could have, you know, kicked on, but we just um, let ourselves down. there were forcing errors and stuff like that. Did the anthem stuff all settle when he wanted to start? No, I don't think so. It's, the players are professional enough, and. They're going, you know, I think it gives us, you know, we got 40 20 and scored on the first set, so I don't think it really unsettled us. But I think sometimes, even that, sometimes obviously uh, puts you into a false sense. And we, you know, we, we opened up with, uh, with uh, four points straight away. And uh, we probably, like I said, our game management after that point wasn't the best. And uh, it's probably a little bit too expected. We, you know, we got six or, six or seven, eight blocks around play for six or seven, eight weeks, and certainly a lot of, a lot of whole new combinations. So, Practice has gone really well, and that just gives us a uh, more to work on from this perspective. 